A model smashing stereotypes at Harvard, a son who could be his mom's twin, and a swimsuit-ready bod at 69. Genetics can be a blessing, especially if your parents have graced the cover of Vogue. One thing you will notice about this list is that there are a lot of siblings, because good genes and connections go a long way. And when we talk about model siblings, it is impossible to do so without discussing the Hadids, especially Gigi and Bella. The three Hadid siblings have now surpassed what their mother Yolanda accomplished. We say this not to diminish her great career, but to emphasize her kids' astronomical success. Before she was a real housewife of Beverly Hills, Yolanda was an in-demand model who worked all over the world. She was discovered by Eileen Ford at 16 after filling in for someone at a hair show in Amsterdam, and the rest is history. Yolanda modeled for 15 years before leaving it behind to raise her kids. It's good. You can have one, one night of being bad, right? Yeah, I was actually really good this week. Yeah. And then you gotta get back on your diet, though. Now, those kids have achieved incredible heights in the industry she left. Bella and Gigi are two of the highest paid models in the world. Gigi has been on more than 35 global Vogue covers, has walked the runway for shows like Chanel and Versace, and has been a Victoria's Secret angel, among other big accomplishments. Younger sister Bella has done campaigns for fashion houses like Bulgari and Dior, was part of the viral Coperne spray-on dress spectacle, and has also been a runway dynamo. Like Gigi, Bella has also been on the cover of Vogue dozens of times, including the Big Four editions. Their brother Anwar also models and has done campaigns for Valentino, Tommy Hilfiger, and more. We are sure their father, Randy Gerber's name, did not hurt Kaya Gerber and her brother Presley when they first entered the fashion world, considering that the Casamigos co-founder is himself a former model. But Randy is surely eclipsed by the powerhouse that is their mother, Cindy Crawford. Those kids were destined for the industry, and Kaya was on people's radars very early, which wasn't always a positive for Randy. And when, you know, you see people looking at her, that's my 16-year-old daughter. Like, get back here right now, go upstairs and change. <laughs> Kaya was signed by IMG in 2015 when she was only 13 years old. She made her runway debut in 2018, walking for Calvin Klein at New York Fashion Week, and has since walked for everyone from Valentino to Celine. Kaya's first Vogue Paris cover was with her mom back in 2016, but she got a solo cover two years later. A huge feat for anyone, let alone a 16-year-old. Kaya has since been on many other covers and had campaigns with brands such as Alaya and Alexander Wang. She even shot her first fashion campaign at age 10. Her brother Presley is catching eyes as well and has done campaigns for Top Man and Calvin Klein after first hitting the runway at 16. But Crawford did not start as young. She was discovered in high school, but it was only after she dropped out of college to model full-time that she hit it big, quickly scoring the cover of Vogue after moving to New York City in 1986 when she was 20. From there, the magazine covers, runway shows, and fashion campaigns came flooding in, turning Crawford into one of the biggest supermodels of all time. Though she gained most of her attention for her acting, we still think of Lily Rose Depp as, first and foremost, a model. And while dad Johnny Depp can surely dish out tips when it comes to appearing on screen, Lily Rose also has a familial expert when it comes to modeling, her mother, Vanessa Paradis. My idol is my mom. Paradis also sings and acts, and she first rose to fame for her musical talent at age 14. But she's also a big-time model who has worked with Chanel for decades. She was even a muse for their 2023 Haute Couture collection. Her first ad for the brand was in 1991, and it is what helped her reach fame as a young model. It must be especially special for her that daughter Lily Rose has not only become a model but is also a Chanel girl. Lily Rose scored her first fashion shoot back in 2015 when she was a 15-year-old who was still mostly being known as Johnny Depp's daughter. That Oyster magazine shoot led to her runway debut the following year at the Parisian Chanel Métier d'Art show, and by that time, she had already become a model for Chanel eyewear and a Chanel fragrance. She has been a part of many other Chanel campaigns since then and become a frequent cover model as well. Amongst other shoots, she has covered Vogue Australia, Elle, and W magazine. Elizabeth Hurley's support has helped her only child, Damien, become a model, but we think it's those genes she passed along that have been the true help. From their wavy brown hair to their icy blue eyes, the pair look strikingly alike. And when your mom has modeled for Estee Lauder for decades, having her face is a great thing. It has that look that looks just 
slightly unusual and I think he could do really well. So I'm just dropping a hint. At 29, Elizabeth was already considered old for the industry when she started modeling in 1995, but she has proven that age is nothing but a number. In addition to her work with Estee Lauder, Elizabeth has modeled for Lancel and Jordache and graced the cover of worldwide editions of Vogue more than a dozen times. She is also an accomplished actor and an active philanthropist. Damien is only 21, and the industry operates differently for male models, but he is quickly becoming a known name in his own right. He started in 2019 with a photo shoot for makeup artist Pat McGrath and signed a contract with IMG in 2020. Damien has since been in another Pat McGrath campaign and has been on the cover of Double Vision magazine. Lila Moss Hack is the only daughter of supermodel Kate Moss and her ex-boyfriend Jefferson Hack, co-founder and creative director of Dazed Media. Often referred to simply as Lila Moss, the 20-year-old is quickly becoming one of fashion's next big things. It really is not surprising in the slightest, because not only did she inherit her famous mother's good looks, but Kate also signed Lila to her talent agency, the Kate Moss Agency, in 2018. Lila then landed a campaign with Marc Jacobs Beauty, and in 2020 she made her runway debut in a Miu Miu show. Lila landed her first British Vogue cover in 2022. Time will tell if she has as much of an impact as her mom, although that may be hard to do. Kate's Calvin Klein ads are often credited with ushering in the waifish look in fashion, and though they were controversial, they made her the face of the heroine chic style. Over the years, she has modeled for everyone, from Burberry to Versace, and she will go down in history as one of the world's finest models. She even changed the height standards in the industry, with her 5'7 frame opening doors for petite models. Heidi Klum is known for hosting and executive producing Project Runway, Making the Cut, and Germany's Next Top Model, as well as being a judge on America's Got Talent for six seasons. Klum was already a household name thanks to her incredible modeling career. The German native began modeling in 1993, a year after winning a 25,000-person contest for a big modeling contract with Metropolitan Models. She has been on the cover of pretty much every major fashion magazine, and spent 13 years modeling for Victoria's Secret. Klum has four children, singer Seal fathered the three younger ones, and also adopted Lenny, the child Heidi was pregnant with when they got together. Heidi made Lenny wait until she was 16 to start modeling, and even with her successfully blooming career, the now 19-year-old is balancing her modeling with college. I think I was around 11, 12 years old ever since then. I've been begging her, and finally I turned 16, and she said that I could finally start modeling. We can't deny the nepotism, since Lenny made her modeling debut on a Vogue Germany cover alongside her mother, but Lenny has definitely been proving herself since she hit the scene. Though she lacks her mom's height and may therefore not be a highly coveted runway model, Lenny takes a gorgeous photo. She has beauty deals with Dior and GHD, and has covered magazines such as Harper's Bazaar Germany, Glamour Germany, and Flaunt. Jerry Hall started modeling in her home state of Texas at 14, and soon after moving to Paris two years later in 1972, she was walking runways for brands like Yves Saint Laurent and Thierry Mugler. She scored her first big magazine cover in 1975 and within two years had accumulated 40 covers. That was around the time she began an affair with a married Mick Jagger, with whom she went on to have four children. Hall maintained her status as a top runway star well into the 90s and made a comeback in 2023 when she appeared in a Mugler H&M campaign. Hall and Jagger married in 1990 after more than a decade together, and they stayed married until 1999. All of their shared children have at least dabbled in modeling, and Hall is the only Vogue cover model to have more than one of her kids also cover the magazine. Daughter Georgia May is probably the most famous of the kids, as she signed her first modeling contract in 2008 and has been the face of Versace, Sunglass Hut, Mugler, Chanel, Rimmel London, and Hudson jeans at various points in time. Oldest daughter Elizabeth has also had great success, shooting campaigns for Lancome and Mango and serving as a brand muse for Redken. And while Hull's son Gabriel has only dabbled in modeling, her son James has appeared on the cover of Vogue Ohm and has modeled for brands like Burberry, Jimmy Choo, and Rag and & Bone. It is frustrating that Kristen McMenemy is not a household name outside of fashion circles given how huge of a model she was in the 1990s. But when it comes to runway, McMenemy is the real deal, something that Harper's Bazaar credits to her unconventional and often androgynous look. In fact, McMenemy showed off her intriguingly odd look at a time when that wasn't in. She turned heads by bleaching her eyebrows, enhancing her unique beauty. The icon started her career in 1985 at age 18 and is still working regularly, appearing in multiple editions of Vogue in 2023 alone. 
McMenemy marches to the beat of her own drum, but she still did a few things the conventional way, including getting married a couple of times and having children. She even stopped modeling for a while to raise her kids, one of whom, daughter Lily, is now a model herself. The second-generation model made her runway debut in 2012 in a Yves Saint Laurent show and booked a big Marc Jacobs campaign the following year. Among others, she had modeled for Versace, Charles and Keith, and Del Vo. Both Ming and Aoki Lee Simmons began modeling for their mother, Kimora Lee Simmons' brand, Baby Fat, as children. They could have jumped right into the deep end, but instead, the pair decided to attend college. Ming went to New York University and Aoki to Harvard. It is astounding that the women were able to balance attending such prestigious colleges while concurrently pursuing modeling, busting stereotypes in the process. I would like to change the idea that you can't be smart and pretty or you can't be smart and enjoy your looks. Aoki made her runway debut in 2021 in a Pierre Moss show at Paris Couture Week and has fronted a campaign for Tommy Hilfiger, while Ming has done ads for Solo Mio Swim and Skims. That said, they have giant shoes to fill if they want to catch up to Kimura, who was famously signed to an exclusive contract with Chanel when she was 13. When it comes to modeling, Kimura did it all, walked for brands like Valentino and Fendi, shot campaigns with Versace and Armani, graced the covers of too many magazines to list, and then there is that whole fashion empire she started. And we haven't even mentioned their father, Def Jam co-founder Russell Simmons. Having one model parent is enough to get a foot into the industry, but having two is almost like a guaranteed fast track. That is not to discredit model Mingus Reedus, but to acknowledge the people who gave him that face. We will start with his father, the Walking Dead star Norman Reedus, who most people know as an actor, but who first modeled for brands like Prada and Levi's when he was younger. Norman dated Danish supermodel Helena Christensen for five years, and they had their only son Mingus in 1999. One of the big 90s supermodels, Christensen started modeling at nine years old and won the title of Miss Denmark as a teenager before landing her first of many Chanel campaigns and a British Vogue cover in 1990. The next year, she appeared in the iconic music video for Chris Isaac's Wicked Game and became the face of Prada. She was one of the original Victoria's Secret Angels, has appeared on 18 Vogue covers and walked the runway in one of Versace's most famous looks ever. Mingus is reportedly more interested in film and music than modeling, but that has not stopped him from walking runways for brands like Calvin Klein and Tom Ford or appearing on the cover of Vogue Om. Kids today might not know it, but model Pat Cleveland was a huge deal in the 1970s. She was discovered in the late 1960s, but because Vogue would not put a mixed-race model on their cover, she left for Paris in 1971 and said she would not come back to the United States until the magazine put a woman of color on its cover. While British Vogue featured a black cover model in 1966, American Vogue did not do so until 1974, when it featured Beverly Johnson, which indeed brought Cleveland back stateside. After her agent, Eileen Ford, told her she would never make it, Cleveland went on to become the world's first black supermodel, walking the runway for brands like Valentino and Yves Saint Laurent. She's been on the covers of tons of magazines, including some alongside her daughter, Anna, who has become a successful model herself. Despite some early doubts, Anna told Vogue in 2015, "...my mother is inspiring, but her legacy carried a lot of weight. Being her daughter, I thought, is modeling her thing or is this my thing? In many ways, it's been harder for me in this business because I have to distinguish myself." Anna did some modeling as a child, but it was not until her mid-twenties that she gave modeling full-time attention. She is known for her expressive runway and has done campaigns for L'Envan, Bottega Veneta, Moschino, and more. At 69, Christy Brinkley remains iconic. She looks incredible and still has the megawatt smile, luscious blonde locks, and full cheeks that made her famous. That is likely why she signed to IMG Models in November 2013, at the same time as her daughter Sailor Brinkley Cook, a big deal for a woman in her 60s. She is still working today and has rebelled against the industry's notorious ageism. 30 ain't what it used to be. Neither is 50, neither is 60, neither is 70. Brinkley was discovered in the early 1970s, became the face of CoverGirl in 1976, and landed on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition three years in a row, beginning in 1979. More commercial than some of her peers, she easily launched herself into other areas like publishing, acting, business, and humanitarianism. She did all of this while raising three kids, and her youngest, Sailor Brinkley Cook, has now followed in her path. 
Brinkley Cook was 15 when she was first signed by IMG, and around that time she shot her first photo shoot for Teen Vogue. She is not poised to end up on 500-plus magazine covers like her mom, but she did land a 2023 campaign for Silk Next Milk alongside fellow Nepo babies Ella Travolta and Brooklyn Beckham to recreate their parents' ads. While her role in Stranger Things upped Maya Hawke's profile immensely, she only joined the show in 2019. By then, Hawke had already done some acting work, modeled for All Saints and Calvin Klein, and appeared in the pages of British Vogue. She had a good roadmap for how to get into modeling, too, considering her mother Uma Thurman landed her first international Vogue cover at 15, and her grandmother Nina von Schliebrugge was also a successful model in her heyday. Hawk has been refreshingly candid about the advantages they and her father, Ethan Hawk, provide her, telling British Vogue. I am not in denial about the fact that if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here today. I've thought a lot about how to deal with that, and one way was to not take any opportunity unless I was absolutely positive that I'd earned every scrap of it. She may go the way of her mother, wherein her acting career one day eclipses her modeling, but for now, Hawk has a foot in multiple worlds. In the years since she started on Stranger Things, the multi-hyphenate has shot campaigns for Prada, Calvin Klein, and Dior. Now signed with IMG Models, Peter Brandt Jr. has shot campaigns for Givenchy and Harper's Bazaar. His modeling has been somewhat overshadowed by his personal life. The socialite, whose dad is an uber-rich businessman and art collector, has gained press for his fashions, social status, and a 2016 arrest after some drunken bad behavior. Alongside his late brother Harry, who overdosed in 2021, Brandt also started a line of MAC products designed to be unisex and promote gender fluidity. The brothers had a strong role model and their mother, Stephanie Seymour, who first got noticed after entering an elite model management contest in 1983 when she was 15. Seymour went on to become a huge star, appearing on the covers of Vogue more than two dozen times, and is also known for being a Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition model numerous times. She has also been in Playboy twice, been a muse for Alaya, and signed a big contract with Estee Lauder at age 45. Seymour is still doing her thing at 55, appearing on the cover of WSJ Magazine's Spring Women's Fashion Issue in January 2023.